Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Today, I'm taking you with me on a time travel adventure. As one of the most interested people in Toronto's history, my goal here is to be the best storyteller I possibly can, both for your properties and also for the communities that you're part of. Because the truth is, no one moves into an area until they've already moved into the community, meaning that they love the area so much that it's an easy decision. So today's podcast focus is the complete history of the West Rouge Port Union community in Scarborough. This is an area that is not in the headlines very much. It's not talked about very much. But as someone who grew up in a different part of Scarborough, this area was always the area that was talked about in a legendary fashion. So I'm here today to give you a podcast history breakdown of this community. And it's probably going to include some stories that you have not heard before. Of course, I'm going to mention how this area originated as a small lakefront town in the 19th century. Within the area known now as West Rouge. But until 1974, this area was actually part of Pickering. And there was a vote. And apparently it was a messy vote because Pickering did not want Scarborough anymore. So they decided they were going to let it go. Anybody who knows this area understands that it has a charm that goes with it that very many, very few places have. This was originally an area that was settled in the late 1700s, early 1800s, but did not actually become a community until about the 1830s. The original village of Port Union was actually founded right in the area, right in the current day intersection of Port Union Road in Lawrence. This area remains the hub of the community by far with Centennial Plaza, with great properties on all sides, and the waterfront, which is only a few minutes away from this intersection which makes it very attractive. But let's go into a little bit of the stories behind the scenes, the ones you don't get to hear very often. For example, back in the 1920s, real estate developer Cecil White and Company purchased multiple tracts of land east of Port Union Village with the intention of creating a large community along the west bank of the Rouge River. And they had plans for it to become Venice of the North. So there was a series of waterways that were planned that were going to be extended from the lake 
and become literally like a modern day Venice, but here in Toronto, here in Scarborough. Although the dream was never realized, the name of his subdivision, Rouge Hills, is still part of the community and is the name of the local commuter railway station. And over the decades, the area has changed quite a bit. From industrial land and farmland into very popular and very occupied residential areas. Everything that you possibly could ask for is here. Everything from schools to libraries, parks, you name it. Everything that you could imagine is right here in this community. When you're looking for a property in this area, it makes sense that you have someone with you who knows these stories. And I'm not going to share them all on this podcast simply because I don't want to bore you away from anything. In, instead, I want you to know that there are many more stories I, I'd love to share with you. And especially once we start doing our walking tours of the neighborhood, which I do on a weekly basis, almost every weekend, I'm showing people the best and latest new properties on the market, talking about what's coming soon, and making sure that your listings are being featured on my very exclusive platform that it's that was created specifically for those in the West Rouge area. It's a very specific West Rouge homeowners program. That's also part of my West Rouge residence real estate club as well. That's been in place for over 10 years as an email update list and has recently become a Facebook group to allow more people to take part as well as the people who are on the email alerts. So I hope you've enjoyed this walk down memory lane in the complete history of Port Union and West Rouge. And if you'd like more information, curious about the neighborhood, want to find out more, there's no better place to go than right here with me. So you can reach out to me via my email is always the best, paul.indrigo at c21.ca. Or you can reach me through realestatepodcastshow.com. And I'll make sure you get all the details you could possibly need about this program and about this community. Thanks for tuning in.